Today in the Pedal Vault, the Void Manufacturing High T situation. The high T situation by Void Manufacturing is, dare I say it, an overdrive boost pedal. Well, let's put it this way. And we have this massive housing with the awesome blood sprinkled, blood stained artwork here. And lots of controls. We have eight control knobs, two rotary switches and two foot switches. So, on the upper row, we have our typical controls that we would find on any, well, overdrive, volume, high, low, and drive. On the low row, we have a blend control, we have a dynamics control, then we have an edge control. This edge is actually tied to low and high, so only when those are activated, it's actually doing something. We have a mid cat. And here we have a clipping rotary switch and a range rotary switch. We also do have a boost control and here we engage the pedal. What we're doing right now, everything on noon. So we need some volume and we do have some volume indeed. Drive. nothing very good just well let's see it here low very subtle well let's actually give it some more volume here but we can cut the lows quite drastically high high shelf let's actually do this and now let's play around with the edge control here you can see we can basically round things off with the get an, and even out the EQ curve. Okay, so dynamics. I think it plays around with the compression. So we can't really see it here. We just see tiny, tiny decrease in volume. The mid cut. Well, cuts the mid, very subtle, but we activate the range. You can see quite drastically what's happening. So here we have a high peak and we can basically shift this peak around and with the mid cut we can basically tell the peak where it's about to happen. So we have it here. Okay, and the clip, basically different clipping options. This one is very open, the ones are more compressed. Now with the boost activated, I think just the peak of the range is switched. Yes, yeah, seems to be. Okay, now let's find out how this pedal actually sounds.
I primarily bought this pedal to be used as a boost in front of a driven amp. However, it works surprisingly well in front of a clean amp. Uh, you, of course, have to use the correct clipping uh, section, but then you can get a very usable distortion sound out of it. However, let's be honest, it really shines in front of your driven amp. And, well, basically, what I really like is that you get so much control. You can exactly dial in the amount of highs, lows, drive you want. The clip offers you lots of different clipping options where you can tweak it even further to your liking. Uh, with dynamics and edge you get some subtle but some more flexibility. With a blend control always nice if you want to blend in some clean signal back in. And the highlight for me but I'm very sure the low light for others, the range and the mid cut. Here you can, with the range, you can basically dial in uh, well, the mid frequency you want to cut or you want emphasis and then you really have to play with those two control knobs to uh, dial in the sound exactly as you want. Lots of capabilities are here. You can easily let every knob the same and then with those two knobs and their interaction you can dial in well i had to do some math but at least 10 different usable very good sounds and i think that speaks for the pedal itself we also get a boost control nice to have i don't know if i need this more boost i would rather dial in some more drive but maybe it's some different flavor so all in all, I'm very sure it's one of the most versatile drive pedals I own and um, looks good <laughs> beneath all those other drive pedals I own. But let me know what do you think about the high T situation. Do you own one or do you prefer any other drive pedal that you think has lots of flexibility? I don't need the Maxon OD808 with three knobs. I mean, I mean, I do own one, but I don't need another one. <laughs> you know what I mean. So let me know down in the comment section. And if you want to support this channel, you might want to consider becoming a YouTube member and check out the links in the description. Well, and with that being said, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. May the power protect you and have a nice day.